hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us how to calculate minimum sys amount for a single criterion therefore let's proceed in our data set we have this sys data officially stored as an excel table and in here we have a simple data validation we have all the payment method so we want to calculate the minimum sys amount for each of these payment method that we can actually pick from this drop down now in this example i'm going to show us how to use the mean and the if functions also we're going to see how to use the main ifs and finally how to use filter which is available in m365 now let's proceed so i'm going to come to cell g1 then i'm going to type if function now the if checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false now the if requires a logical test to evaluate now the logical test is this i want to check this many side this payment method column are you equal to the selected payment method in cell a1 now i'm going to expect a bunch of truths and falses now in a case if it is true what do I want to return? I want to return the corresponding sys amount. So I'm going to click on this sys amount column. And if it is false, I want to return nothing. Now, nothing in Excel simply means you have to use double quotation. So let's do that. Double quote. Then we can close off the if function. Control enter. Now we have three results. And of course, we also have this, you know, spill, you know, range. It speaks to the neighboring rows below. Now, in order to get the smallest, that is the minimum. I'm going to just open the formula and then carefully type in the main function after the equal sign. So main, press the tab key. And that's all we need to do. Close off the main function and control enter. Bam. It gave us 41,093 Naira. Okay, so that's the minimum sys amount. Now, when you come here and change to, let's say, you know, PayPal. We have that working now let's see how to use the main ifs the main ifs is available in microsoft excel 2019 and office 365 so let's see how to do that equal sign the main ifs just like the sum ifs main ifs requires the minimum range that's the main range so the main range has to be numeric value column so i'm going to select this this amount comma now the criteria range one is this many sides of the payment method in our data set and the criteria one is this value in cell a1 close of the main is control enter cool all right it's working fine so we achieve the same result 32,624 payment method that equals to PayPal. Now let's see how to use the new dynamic array function, the filter function. So equal sign filter. Now the filter requires the array. So I'm going to give this as amount comma. Now the include is going to be this many side of the payment method. Are you equal to the selected payment method in cell E1? If you are, then give me the value. So close of the filter control enter bam it spills okay now i'm going to throw in carefully the main function to give me the smallest out of the two results that i'm saying so main close off the main function control enter cool so we achieve the same result 32,062. now let's change and see another payment method let's choose visa card we have 44,924. Let's choose screw. Now we have 19,096. So this is essentially how we use main function in combine, combination with other functions to calculate the minimum sys amount. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give some like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.